Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Google Maps in mobile. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, using Google Maps is something that has become something really important because in this case, Google Maps is an app that you could use or a platform that you could use to basically navigate around the, your city or even in different countries. Now in this case, uh, you might be new to it, so in uh, how do you start using it? Well, first things first is we need to identify if Google Maps is actually installed on our device. So by default, Android devices have Google Maps already installed in our in, in their devices. So meaning you won't need to actually install it again. So in this case, uh, you should be able to see a Google Maps icon or a Google Maps um, for you. So typically, it's going to be a map that has a pin on it. So that's Google Maps. Now, in this case, uh, if you don't see it in here, typically it's going to just say maps. So we don't need to look for Google Google Maps exactly. You just search for maps and you should be able to open it. Also, alternatively, altern alternatively, you should update Google Maps. So in this case, go ahead and open up Google Play Store here. Look for Google Maps. And if you see it in here and see any update button, go ahead and click on that update button and you should be able to start using the latest version. Now, in this case, since we're already using the latest version, let's go and click on open. And in here, you should be able to see the current um, details about your uh, maps. Or in this case, how do you actually start using Google Maps here? Well, using it is actually pretty simple. So uh, at first look, it's quite uh, kind of... Uh, let's think of it as kind of complicated here because in this case, there's going to be a lot of happenings here. You have the search bar at the very top. You have different categories uh, just underneath it. And at the very bottom, you have like five categories that you can go through. Now, in this case, uh, by default, for you to start using it, you just basically navigate around in here and view the nearest residents around your area. But if you click on the restaurant, shopping, hotels, and other categories here, it actually gives you direction on the nearest uh, establishments in those categories. So if you click on coffee here, it's going to show you a different co shop, coffee shops in your area and also show you the nearest location or the uh, nearest area for that specific uh, location. Now, in this case, you can go and click one of them and you should be able to see different details about it. Like for example, uh, different uh, pictures about it, the name of the establishments, and how much people actually rated this one. Now, in this case, uh, obviously there's going to be direction, start, call, or even save this one as a location. You have your overview, menu, reviews, uh, photos, and updates. So depending on this area, you should be able to see the, you should be you should be able to see different uh, things in here depending on how they fill this up. So usually a business owner actually fills this up on their own so they have their own accounts they they need to fill up for them to actually see it but in this case you should be able to view different comments reviews ratings on it and if you also if you want to uh review or rate them you can go ahead and do that as well in here so go back going back let's go and click on the x at the top right here now let's go and click on the x at the top right again to cancel this one now in this case, uh, what are the different tabs here? Because I'll be showing you later. I'll be showing you different tip, uh, tips and uh, tricks here that you could do. So first is Explore tab here, which is the UI that we are currently seeing right now. So in this case, this is the default UI here. But if you click on Go, it actually gives you suggested trips that you might have taken. So in this case, going to record uh, different areas you've been to and uh, different areas that they would suggest you uh, do t trips. Now you could also contribute here, which in this case you could uh, give uh, give uh, additional places or details about a place, update a place, add a view, add photos of that specific place, update roads, and update addresses as well. Now in this case, it allows you, or this section here allows you to contribute to the community within Google Maps here, which in this case add photos or answer questions or add reviews here. So depending on what you need to or want to do here, this is how you actually add or contribute to the community. Now, in this case, you also have the updates here, which gives you different updates uh, with the restaurants near you. Like, for example, uh, some of these restaurants or suggested restaurants around my area, uh, some notifications, some messages in here. So, yeah, this is where you'll be able to see updates regarding places. Now, you also have business here. So, if you have a business of your own, this is uh, where they will be uh, actually appearing. So, in this case, if you want to add a business portfolio, you could go and click on Add Business Portfolio here and just fill out all the necessary details. So in this case, let's just go back in here. Let's go back to Explore here. 
So in this case, uh, what are the things that I actually, actually I actually told you uh, things that you could do here in the explore section? So at the very top, you have the search bar here. This allows you to actually search for different locations. Like for example, if you want to search for a specific university, you could just type in their name here and see the location of that university and some details about it. So also, uh, as you can see, just beneath the um the star section there you have the uh, category for that location. So currently this is a private university and uh, it actually it is actually accessible to uh, disabled people. As you can see, it has the person that has a, a disability icon in there and it's actually a 24 minute walk from my location. So meaning uh, you should be able to walk to that location for uh, like 24 minutes. So it's quite close. Now you should be able to see different photos, even uh, directories about it, reviews, and updates so if, if specifically if you want to new uh no news about that location you should be able to do that in here now in this case uh what are the other things that we could do here well in this case you could actually start adding favorite places here uh even zoom in zoom out so in this case for you to zoom in you just need to pinch out so meaning you just need to pinch out and you should be able to zoom in now, if you pinch in, you actually make it a lot bigger and you'll have a greater view of that area. So as you can see, when I actually uh, pinch, as you can see, it's going to be a lot bigger and I'll be able to see the whole area or the location itself. Now, in this case, uh, when you actually, if you're just like, for example, you want to do this in one hand, you could just actually double tap on your screen and just slide down if you want to zoom in and slide up if you want to zoom out, which is something really cool. Now, another thing that you can do here is you can actually save a different places here. So for example, we have this location here. So let's go ahead and click on it. And once you click on it, you'll have different uh, things that you can do here. So in this case, you have directions. So if you click directions, it's going to give you directions on how to get to that specific location. So what, how do you drive to that in the specific location? Now, if you also click on start, it actually allows you to start navigating to that location. So you'll start the uh, navigation uh, process. So in this case, if you're using a car, it's going to navigate or give you uh, different things that you need to turn or a different location that you need to turn to get to that location. I also have the option that says share and save, which is something really helpful here when it comes to places. So if you click on share here, it allows you to share a link or share this picture to a specific uh, or a specific uh, person. So if you want to share that location or that picture to uh, someone, you should be able to sh uh, share that. You could also save this one, which in this case, it allows you to get uh, add this to your way to go favorites or your favorites or your travel plans or start places. So for example, I want to add this to my favorites. Let's go and click on done. And again, it's going to be now saved. But another thing that you could do here is you could actually tap on a specific location here and add a parking space or a, spar a parking location. So just to give you an idea here, so this is my current location. So you could go and just click on your current location and you have the option to share your location if you want to share this to your uh, friends or your family members. You could also calibrate your current location or again, save your parking spot. So in this case, you could go and click on save parking and whenever you go somewhere and just visit someone, you should be able to notify or be tracked where you actually park your car. So you don't need to worry on where you actually park it because sometimes you would forget where you actually park your car, which is something really helpful here. Now, if you want to actually remove this, you can just click on it again. And from here, you should be able to see the clear option. Go ahead and clear that. Now, if you want to actually visit or view your favorite locations, you can go and click on the profile icon at the top right here. And you want to go to your um, your profile here or save location. You should be able to see your current profile or even go to the save location here. So let's just say click on save. And you have the way to go, favorite places, and a lot of those. So in this case, this is one of my favorite places that I like to go to. But in this case, uh, those are the basics on how to start using Google Maps. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.